Hi there, John McCann here for Tech Radar, and I'm outside the legendary Camp Nou in Barcelona, and I'm about to get driven in a car by a smartphone. The phone in question is the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, and the reason is, Huawei says, people have been questioning them and challenging them on the AI smarts in its phone. It's a difficult thing to show AI. What does it do? How does it work? So what it's done is it's taken a car, it's fed a load of information from a camera to the phone, it processes it all, and then the phone then tells the car to either keep going or swerve or stop. So it's a phone driving a car with me in the passenger seat with my fingers crossed. Let's see how we get on. Right, we're about to hit drive on this Huawei Mate 10 Pro and hopefully it's going to take us down this bit of track and not crash into anything. Um, so here we go. And we're off. So this is the training run. So we're going only about five miles an hour at the minute. It's basically scanning its surroundings to see what other ob ob obstacles there are. It's already picked up the bike, which they've moved out the way. It's scanning its hand. It's now spotted the football. So the team are going to move that one out the way and it's continuing to scan. Hopefully it's going to pick up the dog. Come on, doggy. There's the doggy. So it has found all the obstacles and that is the training run complete. Super. So, so yeah, it scans them from quite a distance, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So now it's looking for those objects that you have previously identified. And so now, what would you like to do if it sees the bicycle? I want to swerve right. Okay, what if you see the football? I'm going to swerve left. Okay, and the doggy? Stop. Stop, okay. So if you just tell the phone that you're in gear. Cool. Right, so we're about to go on our full speed run up to 30 miles an hour and uh, we're going to head directly for that cyclist in the road because we're uh, cyclists, right? So let's see what happens when we drive quickly towards it. And we're going, we're going. Three, six, swerve. And there we have it. <laughs> the Huawei Mate 10 Pro has just made us avoid that cyclist and all the processing was done on the phone. So there you have it, a car driven by a smartphone. Okay, so it's not completely autonomous, but the Huawei Mate 10 Pro does put in a relatively decent performance there. It does all the processing, taking the images from that camera, working out whether we need to avoid an object and then telling the car to do so. So if you want to know what AI is, there's a kind of example of it. Huawei's not going to go into making autonomous cars, but it is going to try and make your smartphone smarter and taking all those niggly little tasks out of your daily life to give you a bit more free time to do what you love. So there you have it. That's John signing off for Tech Radar from Barcelona. We'll see you again soon.